Hello, my dears. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Teresa, and I'm here in Kamloops, British Columbia, on the unceded and occupied territory of the Shekwetmik people. Today, we are going to sing two songs, then we'll read a story, we'll play a game, and we'll do a poem, and then we'll say goodbye. So let's start with our bluebird song. You can sing along if you know it. up, the first thing I do is stretch and yawn. Ooh. So this is how the song goes. This is the way we stretch and yawn. Stretch and yawn. Ooh. Stretch mm. and yawn. This is the way we stretch and yawn early in the morning. Then I wash my face. This is the way I wash my face, wash my face, wash my face. This is the way I wash my face early in the morning. Then I eat my breakfast. Today I had oatmeal for breakfast. This is the way I eat my breakfast, eat my breakfast, eat my breakfast. This is the way I eat my breakfast early in the morning. And then I brush my teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth early in the morning. What else do you do in the morning? Maybe you get dressed? Hmm. Well, you can make up some actions for that one and sing it. So let's read our story today. Today we're going to read Everyone Poops by Taro Gomi. This is a book about how every living thing poops. Let's see what's inside. There's a raccoon. These are many different kinds of poop. This book was originally written in a different language. So a woman called Amanda Meyer Stinchicum, Stinchicum um, translated this story into English. An elephant makes a big poop. A mouse makes a tiny poop. A 
A one-hump camel makes a one-hump poop. And a two-hump camel makes a two-hump poop. Ha! Only kidding. That's not true. They poop the same way. Fish poop. There it is. And so do birds. Bugs poop too. Different animals make different kinds of poop. They are different shapes, different colors, even different smells. Look at all these different kinds of poop. Depending on the animal, the poop looks different. This one looks like a fox. There's a bear and a kangaroo. Maybe a deer. Which end is the snake's behind? Where does his poop come out? I think his behind is over here. Because that looks like his face to me. What does whale poop look like? Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to look it up. Some animals, like this hippopotamus, stop to poop. Other animals, like this deer, poop on the move. Some animals poop here, there, everywhere. Other animals do it in a special place. Like this, this person. Looks like he took off his overalls quickly. And he's almost done taking off his underwear, but not quite. He's running for the toilet. He must really have to go. Grown-ups poop. And children poop too. They poop on the toilet. Some children poop on a potty. And others poop in their diapers. Some animals poop and pay no attention. This rhinoceros doesn't even think about his poop. Other animals, like this armadillo and this cat, clean up after themselves. This cat is putting some dirt over her poop. It's under that dirt. These animals poop beside the water. And this one, this alligator, poops in the water. This person wipes his, himself with toilet paper. Then he flushes it down with his poop. All living things eat. So, everyone poops. The end. That's 
It's Everyone Poops by Taro Gomi. Now we are going to play a game. I'll show you what I have here. It's the bathroom. I have a toilet. This is the lid of the toilet. We have to lift it up. And here is the toilet seat. That's where we sit down to take a poop. And some people lift the toilet seat to go pee in here. That's boys do that. Because they, some, some boys and men stand up to go pee. And some sit down. And all of the pee and the poo goes into the toilet bowl. And then we close the lid. Then, when you're done going pee or poo, you can use the toilet paper to wipe your body and clean, make your body clean. Here we have the sink. That's where we turn on the water. We use a little bit of soap. On our hands, make all those bubbles come. Then we rinse off our hands in the sink, dry them with a towel, and we're ready to go. In this bathroom, there's a stool at the sink, so you can stand up and see yourself in the mirror. Soap doesn't want to stay on. That's fine. So, and we also have some cupboards. Inside we could keep towels or extra toilet paper. And there's a cupboard under the sink. So, shall we play a game with these things? I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking of, and you can tell me what it is. I am thinking of something here that has a lid, a seat, and a bowl. What's that? It has a lid, a seat, and a bowl. Did you guess toilet? The toilet has a lid, a seat, and a bowl. It's not for eating out of though. That would be very yucky. Toilet water stays in the toilet. Okay, I am thinking of something here and we use it to step up on so we can reach the sink. We step on it. Did you say stool? It's stool. We use the stool to make ourselves a little bit bigger and taller so we can reach the sink. Maybe you have a stool at your house. I'm thinking of something here where, oh, sorry, it's here. And we can use it to look at ourselves. 
we can see ourselves in this. Hmm. Did you say the mirror? It's the mirror. If you look in the mirror, you can see yourself, your face. You can make silly faces in the mirror. Okay, we'll do one more. I am thinking of something here that we use to wipe our body to make it clean after we use the toilet. We use this to wipe our body. What is it? Hmm. Did you say toilet paper? It's toilet paper. We use the toilet paper to make our bodies clean. Thank you for playing with me. Now we're going to do one poem and then we'll say goodbye. Um, today we will do our seed poem. Where's your seed? A little seed for me to sow, a little earth to make it grow, a little hole, a little pat, a little wish, and that is that. A little sun, a little shower, a little while, and then a flower. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you again soon.